My name is Delroy McDowell, out of Birmingham City, um, weigh 77 kilos. Um, the team is the Icon Jiu Jitsu team out of Milton Keynes, at Northampton, uh, Luton Town as well. It's been very good, a lot of varied training, a lot of sparring, a lot of Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> it's been really good, it's been really good, yeah. He's a good kid, he uh, looks like a hot prospect for the future, He's got a, he should have a bright you know, future ahead of him. Um, looks quite well rounded. Really. I got, uh, you know, he's, he's from Birmingham himself, so I got a lot of love for him. I don't really have a game plan to be honest. Um, I feel pretty confident wherever the fight goes. I mean, obviously, you know, we're not, we're both quite clever guys. We know what's going on here. Um, I know his strengths. He knows my strengths. But um, sometimes, you know, when you know, when you're aware of each other's styles, that makes for a very interesting fight. You know, so I don't mind where it goes at all. That you know, I don't have any thoughts prior to the fight, just take it out as it goes. Leon Edwards, UCC in Birmingham, weighed 77 kg, 2 and 0 pro. The fight came went great. Um, did a lot of cardio, a lot of wrestling, so I feel good. So I didn't really. I'm more, I'm more rounded and cool at everything, so the Jiu Jitsu are really favour me, really. So at the end of the day, it's an MMA match, not a Jiu Jitsu match, you know what I mean? It does the Jiu Jitsu and everything, so it's different when you're sweating in there, you're getting a gear to hold on to, you're getting punched in your face. Just, Different and it's MMA, <laughs> not Jiu Jitsu. Wherever it goes, it's taking out. Gentlemen, introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he hails from Birmingham. He's 37 years old, stands six feet two inches tall, and weighed in at 77 kilos. He fights out of Icon Jiu Jitsu, and has a perfect mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Delroy Morfire McDowell. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 20 years old, stands six feet even, and weighed in at 77 kilos. He also, he fights out of UTC, and also has a perfect mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Leon Arrocke. This middleweight contest is fought over three five-minute rounds, and tonight, someone's O must go. And here come the welterweights. And David Lethemy, you could cut the anticipation, the atmosphere with a knife as a huge head kick comes out. Delroy McDowell in the black shorts with the orange decal against Leon Edwards in the black and white bad boy shorts. These two did not take their eyes off each other during the stare down. No, Ben, we've seen Leon Edwards before, an excellent striker. And John Hand on the Fight UK staff here has told me about Delroy McDowell's grappling credentials. Apparently, he's a very, very handy purple belt. This could be very, very interesting. McDowell snapping that head kick nicely. McDowell, for me, looking the larger of the two fighters. Let's figure well to it, and he's firing that kick up. That's how you brother. Leon countered nicely then. Three punches. All nice crisp hooks. Not a lot of wasted motion on those for me. Swinging a miss from McDowell. 
Ed was so relaxed. And so often we see it, David, the fighters who come out of the UTC camp so well prepared and a head kick of his own. He talked about Edwards we'd seen previously at Fight UK 4. And famously, we saw him at the Fight UK 5 when he had that incredible back and forth war with Pavel Zavivko, where he caught Pavel with a lot of really big shots, specifically all coming from the left hand side. Big left hook, left knee to the body. A very, very dangerous fighter. And snapping those kicks out. McDowell engages, looking for the takedown. Struggling to come to terms with Edwards. Speed and motion on the feet, I think. Got an underhook on the right-hand side, looking to, it's a real battle of uh, hand position for wrist position in this clinch situation now. So McDowell throws a few quick uppercuts. And a real battle for position here. And often we talk about it, Dave, I mean, a lot of fighters use this position, this clinch position, to the neutral observer, it can look somewhat static, but this is an extremely physically fatiguing position because both fighters are giving 100% effort straight on against each other. Certainly, Ben. Leon Edwards showing excellent grappling defense here. Put to work that wizard on the other side to avoid the takedown. And it's clear what Delroy wants to do. He's looking to negotiate this fight to the mat if he can. But what else he's doing is he's making Leon really work. He almost tried to pull back and pull guard there, but nothing doing really. Edwards backed off and he's now happy in the striking ranges. Dow's hands coming a bit low, Ben. He's also got his mouth open now. Maybe that intensity that he showed before the fight may be taking its toll on his cardio here during this first period. We've seen it happen so often, Dave. I mean, it's a big stage to fight on here at Fire UK. There's a lot of very good welterweights in the division. Wins and losses mean so much. Two undefeated fighters, both 2-0. Oh. McDowell final leg kick once again, going for that takedown. And we're back to this clinch situation once again. So now with McDowell moving to the single. He's got his man up, maybe if he can get him down. But Edwards showing some good takedown defense, just hopping through. Looking to run that pipe and get Edwards down that's to the ground. That's Brilliant great takedown defense. defense. And straight to double unders as well. Oh, and a big shot swinging from Adal, doesn't quite connect. And now Edwards comes down and on top. Edwards been perhaps aware of the grappling credential and prowess of McDowell, content to see his man stand back up. Well, you only had to look at the corner of Edwards the second it went to the floor. Both his cornermen animated it. Yannick Bahati there stood up and said, just get back up, get away, get away. And to fair credit to Edwards, at just 20 years of age, and a massively experienced fighter, listened to his corner perfectly and just backed up. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, why engage in a range where you know your opponent is dangerous? Some nice knees coming into the body, but another one from Edwards. Both fighters exchanging at this point. McDowell looking to make that size and that power work for him from this position. But Edwards has showed very good defense from here. Especially as, as you mentioned at the start of the bout, he does look physically the much smaller man. There's a nice knee to the body from Edwards. But McDowell relentlessly coming forward. And just 10 seconds left and a takedown Cheyenne. Edwards incredibly well to defend that. His takedown defense has been absolutely fantastic. And what a fantastically close first round. All action between Leon Edwards and Delroy McDowell. Very, very difficult round to score, Ben. McDowell obviously pushing the pace, getting Edwards up against the wall. But Edwards, in turn, showing excellent, excellent takedown defense. I mean, it's good to see that a striker of his caliber is obviously concentrating a lot on his weaknesses in the gym. And he's working that defense for this very occasion when a guy like McDowell is chasing you down and wanting to press you up against that cage and get you down to the ground. From Edwards, what we've seen is another dimension to his game. I mean, the, the last fight we talked against about, excuse me, against Pavel, 
at Fight UK 5. He came up against an aggressive striker who was coming forward. He didn't have to deal with somebody like Daryl McDowell who was pushing the pace and trying for takedowns. He's shown another side to his game. And it's always impressive to see fighters show a real multifaceted approach. It's going to be interesting, Ben, to see how McDowell comes out. If he looks to get it to the ground, is he going to try and push him up against the cage? Perhaps he could mix up the strikes and maybe shoot him for a double on the outside. We will see as these fighters come out for the second round. Welterweight action here at Fight UK 6. Been an all-action night of fights so far. Delroy McDowell and Leon Edwards here. McDowell's got to be careful of those hands, Ben. Although he's not in range for a punch, he's definitely in range for a high kick, and Leon Edwards isn't afraid to throw them. And Edwards standing south forward, has got a lot of weapons there. We're coming in from the left-hand side, the straight left hand. And we've seen him punish opponents with knees to the body. Big loop in left hand. Both just backing up a little bit. Clearly respect to each other from this range. I think Edwards just no find the kick might have gone a little low there. Another snap in front kick. Edwards so explosive, Dave. These shots can come completely out of nowhere. That's why McDowell's got to be really careful with that right hand, Ben. It's creeping lower and lower. Beautiful inside leg kick from Edwards. Mixing it up nicely. Both fires. Oh, and I think that one might have been low. That one did look like it strayed a little bit low. Yeah, definitely strayed low. I mean, how many times have we seen it, Ben, with these inside leg kicks? Edwards moved to a neutral corner. McDowell of five minutes. He's got the time to recover. It's so often we see it, Dave. I mean, clearly not intentional. But that's the danger of throwing the technique like that with that kind of ferocity. Yeah. It only takes a slight movement from either direction, a slight variation of a, a degree or so, and you can see straight away the results. A kick like that can put a man on the canvas. Yeah, certainly. I mean, the interesting thing now, Edward's taking further instruction from his corner, looking to work his combos, his shadow box in there. Edward's... It looks to be taking some great instruction here, and it'll be going to be interesting what he's looking for. For me, I think the corner are motioning to get in that tie clinch and use some knees, so it'll be interesting to see when McDowell comes back, whether he goes to look for that. But how do you think that could affect McDowell in the fight, Ben? I mean, you've seen the likes of, of Krokop against Overeem. Um, you Mark know, Hunt and Chris Toucher as well. Yeah, certainly. I mean, do you think he's at a disadvantage for the rest of the bout? It's very hard to say. I mean, he's got the time to recover, but, I mean, how long does it take? I mean, how much of a toll is that going to take on a fighter? I mean, as, as I said before, when we saw, um, I believe it was Gabriel Gonzaga, actually, against Chris Toucher, where he landed that thunderous, thunderous groin shot. Toucher went on to lose the bout by a TKO because he never quite recovered. Even with the five minutes, he didn't recover. Yeah. And so many times we see it, it's a really tough spot to be in. It, it's not intentional, but unfortunately it is a hazard of the game when you've got fighters like that throwing low kicks. Referee having a quiet word with Leon Edwards. I'm sure nothing further than that. I think he is just going to admonish him, give him a bit of a warning. I think I heard him say they let him know that if, if, it's, if it's a repeat offence, then he may have to look at point deductions. Double fingers put up from Leon Edwards. And Edwards looking for that kick, can't quite get it. Unfortunately, as he fell backwards, straight underneath, not where he'll want to be. Uh, McDowell capitalised well, Ben. He jumped on that opportunity with the slip from Edwards. A bit of a gift in that Certainly. situation. McDowell's got the fight to the canvas and he hasn't had to work to get it there really. He's just had to capitalise on his man who came out a little too aggressive through that kick and just slipped. Well, how often do we say that about Leon Edwards? Never. The guy is ice cold usually. He throws up the double middle fingers. Next thing you know, he's thrown a, a hasty high kick and he's down on the ground. From Edwards' point of view, for me, Dave, he's doing the right thing here by trying to just control his opponent's posture, but now it looks like he's lost it. McDowell's got to look for grabbing the shorts here. If we deem we are very wary of the situation. Edwards looking for a triangle, Ben. Looking to throw those legs up. 
And we talked about the jiu-jitsu rank, the jiu-jitsu pedigree, but obviously in MMA, completely different situation when you factor in punches, when you factor in fatigue. Yeah, certainly. And I mean, it's not as if UTC is a, a striking only gym. You know, they've got excellent grappling coaches down there. And as we say that, Leon Edwards looking to sink in the triangle. He looks to throw the triangle choke over. What a feather in his cap this would be if he could submit. A decorated grapple ice. What he's got to try and do is close the gap a little bit more. McDowell has his hand slightly through, steps over. McDowell Brilliant. did very well there, but looking to attack the leg. Rolled through for a knee bar there. McDowell looking to take advantage if he can, but Edwards doing the right thing. Holding nice and close to his man, compressing that limb. Not giving him a lot of room to work. Fantastic grappling exchange, Ben. Fantastic stuff. McDowell showing that high-level pedigree that we've said, even attempting a technique like this. But Edwards folding himself over on that leg quite nicely there, and there's a big shot. That'll give him something else to think about. And this is so often the thing we say. Committing to leg locks is a complete lottery in mixed martial arts when you've got fires on top who can ground and pound. Yeah, it really, really is. You, you've got to go... You've got to go for the leg lock and know when to give it up, you know? Too many fighters hold on to him. Famously in the UK, the example's always given is Frank Mir versus Ian Freeman. Definitely. There's a nice low kick from Edwards now. Slightly more relaxed once again. McDowell looking extremely fatigued in this situation, Dave. I think he really put a lot into that situation when he trapped, found himself on the top. Tried to finish, but couldn't really get a lot of doing and ended up having to defend. A very good triangle attempt from Leon Edwards. Oh, and there's that left hand again. You can see a high kick coming, Ben. Edwards seems to be measuring his man up. Throwing the hips a little bit as well. And there's a nice left to the body. Edwards turned it on now. And there's a shoot coming forward. That's great. Take down defense. Sprawling back. And now maybe the knees will come. And there's a big one. Oh, these knees are brutal. McDowell 8-2. And he really didn't want another one there. McDowell done really well there. Not to get caught up in that situation. Not to eat too many of those big shots. And now he's turned it round. But Edwards has got the fine. Maybe he's looking for a late takedown. Right at the end of the round. Nice to see Edwards mix it up, Ben. And obviously in the eyes of the judges at the end of the round there, maybe put an exclamation point on it for him. Great, great back and forth fight. And the grappling exchange, Ben, was as interesting as the stand-up exchanges have been. Definitely a very, very close fight for a lot of reasons. Delroy McDowell showing that, as we talked about at the start, that grappling pedigree, even attempting, confidently attempting a technique like the knee bar from that situation. But so often we see it, ended up catching a lot of punches from there. Leon Edwards after the restart for the low shot, showed a bit too much emotion. Yeah. Threw, the, threw the double fingers out there and then threw a big high kick, overcompensated. And, and then from that point on, he was forced to really work from that situation. Yeah, certainly. And as I said, it's very out of character for Edwards, usually ice cold. I think his corner will probably be having a word of him now, not to get too carried away again. It's interesting, you mentioned the cardio aspect earlier at McDowell, perhaps looking tighter. Often the larger, more muscular fighters, they will use more oxygen, Ben, and they will get tighter quicker than, than somebody that's just lean like, like Edwards is. So it'd be interesting whether cardio becomes an issue in this final period. Local crowd chanting UTC in support of Leon Edwards. Final round here in what's been a very entertaining welterweight encounter. Leon Edwards in the black and white bad boy shorts against Darren McDowell in the black black eagle shorts with the orange decal. Both undefeated. Pace really slowing down somewhat as you might expect after two very frantic earlier rounds. Yeah, nice. and that Excuse me, Ben. That really suits Edwards as well. This sort of pace of working on the outside, working the leg kicks, the single shots, that's going to suit Edwards down to a T. Both exchanging those low kicks. McDowell's motion's looking somewhat laboured now for me, Dave. There doesn't seem to be as much str spring in his step, and there's some big shots coming forward. McDowell closing the range as well. He needed to. And now he's got the fight where he wanted it. He talked about the emotion of Leon Edwards. 
just hung around in the pocket a little bit too long for me there, Dave. Threw yeah, a lot of very, very wild looking punches and it's something we don't usually see something we don't usually connect with someone like Leon Edwards like you say usually very crisp very calculating from the outside but got in that that close range and just began throwing wild punches looking for the finish certainly it's a thin line to know when to step it up perhaps he's looking at McDowell and seeing that the guy is clearly tiring in front of him but just a bit too soon and now we're going to see what McDowell can do in the top position and Edwards does brilliantly to turn his man over and now starts to land some ground and pound of his own under the professional rules the elbows can come into play no doubt Edwards will be looking to land some elbows if he can McDowell looking to work from the bottom, Dave, but he looks incredibly fatigued. Edwards has got his man on top and he's got him in the corner. And what he'll want to do is just try and land as many strikes as he can from this position. McDowell, for me, Dave, almost looking like he's stalling a little bit. Yeah, he looks content to catch some breath here, Ben. Try and get some stamina back. He's flat on his back. He's not really working as of yet. Trying to get some energy back before, before moving those hips and looking for his submission. Good stand-up for the referee in my books. McDowell looks exhausted, Ben. Very slow to get back to his feet. I think mentally he could be very, very close to the edge and we see Leon's corner. Big left corner hand. Out there. And there's a left hand oh, and there's a big knee. knee. The issue is, Ben, Did he was he down? It's very hard for us to see from this position. Was the knee down at that point as he was coming in? It's down to the referee. It's a very interesting situation, Ben, because I'm not sure as an early indication whether McDowell can continue. And with the cardio the way it is, <laughs> would he want to, Ben? No, very true, Dave. It's a very tough situation, this one. It'll all come down to how the referee sees it. Not sure officially what the decision was. The medic's just attending to McDowell. Was he coming in looking for the takedown? Did he have a knee down? The referees waved it Referee off. Referee waving it off. It'd be interesting to see what the official decision is. I mean, we're speculating really as to as to what had actually happened there. If McDowell did have a knee down, Dave, and obviously he can't continue, he'd take the bout via disqualification. It should be a very, a very unfortunate ending for Leon Edwards, who's been been excellent really in all ranges he showed brilliant defensive wrestling and then just when he stepped up with the strikes a, a stray knee's gone out there I mean Mc, McDowell still looks very hurt Ben it's sort of involuntary reactions on the ground here okay ladies and gentlemen after two minutes and 40 seconds of round three your referee, Mr. Dean Weir, calls a stop to this contest due to an illegal knee to the head of a downed fighter, disqualifying Leon Edwards, declaring your winner by disqualification from the blue corner, Delroy Moore Fire McDowell. But let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Leon Edwards.